space. Reality. It's more than a linear path. It's a prism of endless possibility. Where a single choice can branch out into infinite realities. Creating alternate worlds from the ones you know. I am the Watcher. I am your guide through these vast new realities. Follow me and ponder the question. What if? Hey guys, you walk place here, and today welcome back to another uh, what if scenario. Today we're gonna be going um, to the Packers. We're gonna be playing as the Packers, trying to rebuild them. Um, today's what if episode is going to be titled "What If uh, Jordan Love Took Over for Aaron Rodgers." Um, so Jordan Love got drafted in 2019, I think. Hold on, let me double check that. Or 2020. Yep, 2020, because 2021 was where. Rodgers won the MVP. All right. Um, so Jordan Love was drafted into the 2020 draft to take over for Aaron Rodgers after a year. Same thing they did with Brett Favre. Um, except this time Aaron Rodgers went on to win MVP back-to-back -back years. But this is what if Jordan Love took over after, uh, like literally once they drafted him, what if, they, what if he took over for Aaron Rodgers? So... With that being said, we're going to be trading Aaron Rodgers to a team um, for uh, for some picks. But let's look at this team. We have Aaron Jones, A.J. Dillon. A.J. Dillon's probably going to be on the move. Um, David Bakhtiari and Elton Jenkins. Uh, we also have Robert Tunyon. Our offense is good, except from the offensive line and receivers. And then our defense is amazing. We have Devontae Wyatt, um, Reed, and then Clark and Slayton up the middle. Uh, we have Jair Alexander. Russell Douglas is here. I want to play Eric Stokes over Russell Douglas. And then Eric Stokes. And then for our safeties, we have Darnell Savage and uh, Adrian Amos. And then for middle linebacker, I'm thinking about trading Chris Barnes away. Um... Because we have Campbell and Walker um, that we can play. Barnes is kind of the odd man out. Um, we also have uh, Preston Smith and Rashawn Gary on the edge. Um, so I'm going to be doing some trades. Um, year one. First off is trading away Aaron Rodgers. <laughs> That's crazy. So Aaron Rodgers just went through for a first rounder, two first rounders this year, a three and thirteen, and then another first rounder next year. I guess that's fair. I feel like it's fair. Um, so now Jordan Love is our starter, and I'll see you guys at the midseason mark. Okay, so we are four and three at the midseason mark. Uh, yeah, so we're doing pretty good. We have nine players in to re renegotiate. Uh, Elton Jenkins will be one of them. <clears throat> okay, we have negative thirty-four million. So luckily, Elton Jenkins will be the only person um, that we're gonna really miss out on. Um, I do want to see where all of our cap space is going to. Because clearing Aaron Rodgers is like, I mean, Alan Lazard. Okay, you're getting cut. Actually, I shouldn't really cut him. He was, he had, he was young. Mason Cross. These are like. Where's all our money going to? Jair Alexander. Bakhtiari. Preston Smith. Oof. 
five-year deal. Can we get rid of that contract by trading him? I think we might as well just bite the bullet now. Because we're definitely not going to get... But here it says we're 29.3 million. Whatever, I'm going to trade Preston Smith for a pick, I guess. All right, so Preston Smith and a future five gets us another first round pick. So we have four first round picks, I think. Um, but now we don't have a... Do we have money now? All right, I mean, we got rid of two million, but we're not... It's not like we're going to magically or magically get... 32 million off of our books. So who's going to step in and play that uh, pass rusher role? So Chris Barnes in a sixth round pick gives us a first rounder next year, hoping the Rams are bad. So now I'm going to... What else do we need to do? Amos is going to stay here because he's important. All right, I'm going to trade AJ Dillon. Um, and hope. Actually, let's get a free agent real quick. So I just traded AJ Dillon for uh, Jonathan Abram. He's a good safety to add once uh, Adrian Amos goes. Um, to free agency. That's just for depth, and I think we should be good. I'm going to check the roster, and I'll see you guys if we make the playoffs. All right, we went 10-7. and seven. We did make the playoffs. All right. Um, so let's see how Trey, not Trey Lance. That's not the rebuild that we're doing. Let's see how Jordan Love did in his first year as a starter. 4,700 yards, 40 passing touchdowns, which is a lot. Sixth best offense, 13th best defense. 40 touchdowns is a very good stat. Only 10 interceptions. That's good. We do have the player tag QB of the future, so we are sticking with him. Uh, Aaron Jones over 1,400 yards. Randall Cobb, our receiver one. And then defensively, anything crazy. Not really. Nine and nine sacks for Rashawn Gary. Three interceptions for Savage and Alexander, which is kind of it's not kinda of, it's not truly crazy, but So yeah, uh did uh Jordan Love get a higher dev trait at all? Can we see a star? We do not see a star, but he is a seventy four overall. So can we beat the Bucks in the wild card? No, we lost 42-31. Um, let's go to the offseason. Okay, so this draft doesn't really have any good people in it. Um, I do... Where are we picking? Because there's this one tight end that I want. Um, and then we need a tackle. And... Kind of need attack. We need a tackle, an edge rusher, and an end. But there's not that great of a class. So I'm thinking we just stockpile our picks for later. Oh, I want to see what our picks were. Don't say. So I want to stockpile our picks for later. Um, but in the second round, I think. Um. Oh, we don't have any cap room to trade. No. Well. I guess we're picking. Nicholas Wembley is still here. He's a top five. Cameron Caldwell is still here, too. All right, I'm taking Cameron Caldwell. There's our tackle. And he is hidden dev. 88 strength. That's pretty good. And then next one is round 13, or pick 13. So we're going to take, um, Dylan Barber, Dylan Barber here. 
He's not gonna be like a superstar. And, oh, okay. Well, he has hidden dev. Uh, 85 excel, 80 speed, only 78, 8 strength though. And then our next pick. I don't think the tight end's gonna make it this uh, till pick 21, so I'm gonna take him here. It's Frank Young, who is the tight end. Where is he? There he is, Frank Young. He looked pretty good. Um, he was the fastest tight end. Hopefully he can be good for us. There's Hidden Dev. 88, 88 speed for a tight end is insane. So far, all hit, uh, all have been Hidden Dev guys. And then I got the Edge Rusher. So I need a D-Tackle with my next pick. I don't think we can let this top five projection just drop. He looks, it doesn't look bad. All right, we're taking Nicholas Wembley. I don't know why he's dropping this far. See, 88 strength. That's extremely good. And we'll just take a D-tackle with our second round pick. Um, but you guys won't see that. You'll see the draft recap right now. All right, so here we go. Frank Young was a 76 overall tight end. That's pretty good. Barber was a 74. Cald was a 72. Wembley was only a 71. Dansby was my second round pick, who was a 69. Nice. And yeah. Didn't address corner. I don't think we needed to. Didn't address receiver. It was an awful receiver round. Hopefully um, next year will be a good one or else we're going to trade for one. Um, so I'm going to adjust the uh, roster and I'll see you guys at the uh, midseason. Jordan Love is uh, star development, people. So that's good. Uh, we So uh, again... I'll see you guys at the uh, mid-season mark. All right, so we are four and three. We have seven players to negotiate. Hopefully, we have enough cap space to do it. Yes, we do. We have eighty million dollars. Okay, we have a couple guys that are leaving. Um, most notably, Rashawn Gary. He's coming back. And then next up is Darnell Savage, uh, Maryland product. He is back. And finally, I want to bring back. Oh, Jordan Love, of course. We need to bring back Jordan Love. Nothing really, nothing really needs to change. We're fighting for a spot in the division. Um, I'll see you guys at the playoffs. Okay. Oh my goodness, we finished off at 12 and five. From what? Four and three. We only lost two games. Um, as Jair Alexander has an upgrade. What can he get better at? I'm generally curious. He looks amazing. Probably tackling is our toughness. Probably slot. Go we'll slot. Plus three tackles a big one. Um, how did Jordan Love do? Uh, who we also have to sign back. 46, uh, 4,600 passing yards, only 31 touchdowns, seventh best offense, third best defense. Definitely a step back from last year. Um, rushing, Aaron Jones had 1,000 yards. Receiving, uh, Christian Watson had the most yards, and Amari Rogers right behind him. Anything, uh, 11, and a, 11 sacks for uh, Kenny Clark, five interceptions for Jair Alexander. He should be Defensive Player of the Year with that. Oh, we gotta look at awards. No. I doubt that he Jordan Love won. Uh, MVP last year. Joe Burrow wins MVP. Uh, AFC Offensive Player of the Year is Joe Mixon. Or NFC. Coop is Cooper Cup. <laughs> NFC Defense Player of the Year is Aaron Donald. No. Um, who are we? Yeah. No, uh, what's it called? Jair Alexander. Uh, offensive Player Rookie of the Year is Taylor Crowder. Frank Young at three. Kenny Faulkner at five. 
The defensive rookie, rookie of the year is James Vincent. Uh, Barber at two. That's it. So uh, our rookies did pretty good. I do want to see their dev traits. I wonder if our tight end is going to be extremely good. Okay, so our tight end only has star. Our two uh, offensive linemen that we got are star. Our offensive line's looking okay. Receiver still needs an upgrade. Jordan Love still at a star. And then Barber is a star. What do we need in free agency? In the oh, well, we'll get to there in a second. And all right, so we're playing the uh, Commanders in the Divisional. Can the 12 and 5 Packers beat the 10 and 7 Commanders? We can. Next up, we play the da Dallas Cowboys, who are very tough to beat in simulation. Um, can we beat the Cowboys, who have a great playbook? We can, and we are going to the Super Bowl with Jordan Love. Um, I'm going to play the full game, but only sim to like the fourth quarter. And we'll see if we can win the Super Bowl in our second year with uh, Jordan Love as our quarterback. We may not even have to re-sign him. Off to a quick start with a field goal. We get it right back. They try to score a touchdown. We get another field goal. Offense is stalling out. 14-6. We hit another field goal. 14-9. 29-9. We got to go in here now. We got to get some touchdowns. All right, they're going to kneel here. Does that mean they're going to... Yeah, no, that, that's a field goal. Can we block this field goal? This is to win the game. Did not get the block animation. That is wide right. We still have a chance. 16 seconds left. Dustin Hawk Hopkins. No, that's Ryan Suckup. Ryan Suckup misses the field goal. That was a big field goal right there. Don't know why we're doing Hail Marys, but we are. We have 16 seconds. Probably just going to dump it off to Young. He gets... What? He didn't get out of bounds? No way! As the Chargers win the Super Bowl. No way. He didn't. His knee was inbounds before he got out of bounds. Wow. What's this guy doing back there? Wow. <laughs> All right, well, we get to do one more year. So I'll uh, see so you guys. I don't think we're going to have enough money, to be honest. He re-signs for four years. And that was the year to do it. We have $38 million, though. So if we need a tight end, not we don't need a tight end. If we need a receiver, this is the year to do it. All right, so we're going off after Trayvon Diggs, Chris Lindstrom, and Derek Brown. Let's eval offers. Trayvon Diggs is still here, and so is Derek Brown. We did get Chris Lindstrom. Right, let's eval offers again. Derek Brown is still here. We did not get Trayvon Diggs. Oh, crap. All right, let's eval offers. Darius Slay is still here. We did get Derek Brown. We're going to eval offers one more time. We can't because we already offered three times. So let's see if we can eval them one more, or if we can skip to next week and get um, Darius Slay. If we still have 15.9 million, so I doubt we got them. Yeah, no, nothing's happened yet, but we're going to eval offers one more time. And we did get Darius Slay Jr. Let's go. I feel like I could have got more for this trade, but I got a number two first rounders and Russell Douglas for AJ Brown. I don't know. I got nine million off the table, though, trading Russell Douglas. So I'm OK with that. I still have one more first rounder and 17 million in cap space to work with. So two first rounders and Myers for Deontay Johnson and a left tackle who has star development. Um, and just like that, we are done in this draft. I'm going to show you... First, I'm going to look at the draft recap. Then I'm going to show you the, the, the 
discontinued team that we got, and I'm gonna make any more trades after I look at the, the final team. All right, so we did make the playoffs. Holy, we're at 87 overall across the board. 11 and six. How did Jordan Love do? It's not on the leaderboards. 5,000 yards, 38 touchdowns. Fourth best offense, first best defense. Love to see it. Aaron Jones with 100, another 1,000 yard season. Three receivers with 1,000 yards. And then defensively, we had the best defense in the league. Did we get sacks? Sean Gary, Dylan Barber had nine and a half sacks. Welcome. And then Jonathan Abram had three interceptions. So let's take a look at the final team before we make the playoffs. That, before that, um, we're going to be looking at the awards. Desmond Ritter wins MVP. NFC Offensive Player of the Year is Christian McCaffrey. And if, no, NFC Defensive Player of the Year is Aaron Donald again. Uh, NFC Offensive Rookie of the Year is Chris Godwin. Really? <laughs> um, no Packers. Defensive Rookie of the Year is Dimitri Gaines. No Packers. There's Cedric Yancey, who had an awful year. Okay. Um, Say with a receiver. He didn't win it. Chris Godwin did. Um, well, let's look at this final team. How do they progress? Jordan Love's an almost an 80. Our receivers are pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. Why did not? Why did Chris Lindstrom not start at center? That's my question. We gotta fix that before a playoff game. Defensively, nothing really changed. Uh, dev trait wise. Said Barber went up to an 82. That's good to see. Specialists. That's good, that's good. That's good, that's good, that's good. Alright, we're good on specialists. So, oh, that's a flea flicker. I'm watching the Chargers game and they just did a flea flicker behind the back and the Chiefs just stuffed it. Man, alright. Um, let's advance the week. Packers versus Seahawks. We won that. Packers versus Panthers. This might be a little bit hard because the Panthers are a good team. In simulation, we beat them. Now, Packers versus Lions to go to the Super Bowl. Both have the same record. We are a little bit better than them. We go to the Super Bowl on the final year. Can we beat the Packers in the Super Bowl? We'll go find out. Raiders jump on first, 7-7. Seven, seven. Jordan Love has a Tough time scoring touchdowns in the simulation. Man, it's a close game. And the Packers finally score a touchdown just as the fourth quarter starts to play. Um, I think we're gonna slow. We're gonna just send to the end of the game. All right, so we're in the lead with a minute and 43 seconds left. This is kind of how. Um, oh, we're at the two yard line, six yard line. I don't know why I said two, but let's give it to Aaron Jones real quick. Then we'll throw up a. Um, I don't score. Then we'll throw up a fade to you know, like receiver. Is that AJ Brown? Yep, AJ Brown's gonna get the go route. AJ Brown, that was an awful attempt. This time we're going to go to Deontay Johnson, who has been known to, make, to drop catches. And Deontay Johnson comes back to the ball and gets a touchdown. And the Packers have just won the Super Bowl. In year number three, that means that Jordan Love would have, if Jordan Love started in year one, he would have did pretty good, got to the Super Bowl two out of three years, and then won it 
um, on the third year. So guys, thanks for watching. Leave a like and subscribe if you have not already. Um, let's watch this Super Bowl animation. There's Jordan Love right there. Can't believe it. He's like, wow. There's uh, Jonathan Abram who actually beats his former team in the Raiders after they tried to shop him away for AJ Dillon. I There's Jair Alexander getting help. Or is that Darius Slay? I think that's Darius Slay. There's our tight end. I keep forgetting Young's first name. There's Jordan Love. He looks excited. Okay, I don't I don't like that uh, look that he just gave that trophy. He's like, ooh. Alright, um, thanks guys for watching. Leave a like and subscribe if you have not already, and I'll see you guys later.